the solution. YouTube, what's going on? Salutes for the solution kicks back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap, smash, kick, punch, choke, slam that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. So today's video is entitled March Madness. Yes, I know everyone is April 1st. However, we in the sneaker community like to talk about March like it's a horrible month. March is a great month. March is my birth month, okay? My days was my birthday was a few days ago, so I'm not gonna allow you to talk bad about March. My daughter's birthday is in March. My oldest sister's birthday in March. March is an amazing month. So if you think it's all about sneakers, which makes March terrible, I don't care. Let's get into it. So we're gonna talk about why March is so great for me. Why is March so great for me in the sneaker culture? Because of Hey, everything goes on sale that you passed on months ago. I'm gonna go all the way back to a sneaker from, a couple sneakers from this past summer that I just watched and waited and waited to go down. This is one reason why you should be doing mall vlogs, okay? This is why you should do mall vlogs and why mall vlogs are still kind of a, you know, a needed thing in the culture. I don't say do them all the time, but you're monitoring the prices and what's out there and stuff like that. You're like, hmm, they went on sale. Maybe they'll drop a little bit more. And you had those conversations. So let's get into it. And I was going to put a sneaker up here and I was really excited about it. And I realized I actually got that sneaker on February 28th. So it did not deserve to be on the table. But in no particular order, we're going to talk about the sneakers that I cop. And the first sneaker that I'm going to show, I'm going to talk about it briefly because there's a video on this sneaker because there's a concept behind it. First up is the Air Max 95 Baltimore Away. Okay, this sneaker is a pack. There's two sneakers. There's a home sneaker and the away sneaker. And I want to talk to Nike about this concept right here. I don't know who you talked to back in Baltimore or what you studied, but this is the only shoe that you got right. The other shoe, I'm not sure about those colors on it, but we're gonna hold the rest of it for the video. Trust me, work with me. But very, very dope sneaker anyway. Yeah, this is the one I'm cool with. Keeping with the Air Max theme, because March was the month of the Air Max, we had the Air Max 97 slash tune right here. And this sneaker goes all the way back to last summer when it dropped. It is a very vibrant and colorful sneaker. It's got purple on it. Y'all know I love purple. It's got the turquoise in there. It's got these hype, uh, hyper crimson pink. What are they calling these things? I don't have the box in front of me. Where's the box? Ah, and yeah, the box is in the other room. But um, <laughs> it's got this, this nice bright pink on here that makes the shoe pop on the laces. It's iridescent all around here on the um the blue and the black and these sneakers really really pop i did not want to pay 160 for them when they dropped so i watched them come down to 129 i want to say around january so they dropped to 119 109 i saw 99 dollars they also have a tune air version of this just tune air period that um i kind of was not feeling i was thinking about getting those anyway i said no nah, i'm going to pass on those because the ones i really want are probably going to come down now i ran into the mall real quick to pick up something for someone and I saw the sneaker was $79, but they did not have my size. I said, tomorrow I'm gonna go out and find this sneaker. This is a couple of, about a week or so ago. And um, I found this one for $79, slapped the discount on it. So you're talking about, you know, about $69 or something like that. I can't remember what I paid, but it was ridiculous. It might be cheaper than that, but I was excited. Man, I wanted these. Next up is an Air Max uh, 90 slash one. I always mix this color. Yeah, 90 slash one because of this part right here. That's a dead giveaway. But I wore these on Air Max Day, and this is a special edition version because it's satin and all that good stuff. Has that Smider Man bob to it. I don't know what that symbol is on there. If somebody knows, let me know. I looked it up, but I didn't look hard enough. So let me know if you know what that little symbol means on there, and uh, we'll chop it up about it. But a dope sneaker, but they wanted 120 for these, and I was like, mm, no. I'll wait, I'll wait. These dropped all the way down to $46, everyone. And of course, you know what I did. I put that discount on as well. Shout out to Foot Locker Rolling Oaks Mall because that Foot Locker is very, very small and they don't get a whole lot of stuff. And I just happened to be walking through there and I found these for the super low because you know I am. I am the real Mr. Steals and Deals. Holler at me, I'll let you know how I do these things. Ooh, yes, the solution. That's a woman's shoe. 
Yes, I know. However, this shoe was extended. And the thing about it, I saw the sneaker, I looked at it a couple of times, kept it moving and everything. I'm like, oh, all right, if they didn't put the little gold stuff in there and everything. But you know what I didn't do? I didn't look at the price. I did not look at the price. And I'm kind of blown away that they wanted this much for this shoe. And y'all know me. I didn't pay that. 220, if you can see the tag on it. I know it's bent a little bit. All right. 220, y'all. I was not paying that, especially for an extended shoe. You know, the air is for 222. But I kind of insert foot into mouth about them once I tried them on. All right. And I'm going to talk about the price in a second. I was like, these are arguably the most comfortable Jordan 11s made. Now, you say it with me, everyone. Do not lie to yourself. You know, Jordan 11s, as dope as they look, those are not the most comfortable sneakers. Let's not even talk about tech, mid-90s tech and stuff like that. But they, they are not very comfortable. It makes you wonder, like, how were we hooping in shoes like that back then? Because the comfort level was not there. But these are arguably the most comfortable Jordan 11s. It's got that gum bottom sole on there. You guys know I love that olive drab on there. It's got some uh, gold marbleization up in there. And this is a project shoe, by the way. But let me not get too far in front of myself to talk about what I might do to the shoe. Also, something that should be standard on Jordan 11s, the stitched in two, three, or four, five on the back, depending on the model of the shoe. And it also has that gold tab on there that they borrowed from the Air Force One and they gave you some more with the uh, gold agulet tips right there dope sneaker for the ladies the ladies did not feel this one i heard a lot of women say this this probably should have been a guy's shoe it's just too rugged looking because of the green and everything but i've yet to see a woman in the shoe so ladies if you cop this let me know of course this got extended because i have it's a size 11 which means a nine and a half very very comfortable shoe this was wow i, I could not believe how comfortable this shoe was and um, if I don't uh, <laughs> modify, I'm not a customizer. I say it again. I'm not a customizer. I modify sneakers. I might do something with this gold stuff right here. And it's a matter of me going to Walmart and picking up the item that I need to try it out. But I got a feeling um, it may or may not work. But considering the, um, the raised level of the suede on here, it might go well. And I'll leave it that video coming soon for that one. Next up is my most recent purchase. No need to talk about this, but one thing I did not get into, I sent a text message to a fellow sneakerhead saying, hey, I realized what they were talking about with the Phantom and I kind of forgot to mention in my video. So if you look right under here, that red underlying swoosh, it's kind of got like this iridescence on here that you, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you'll see it like twinkle and sparkle every so often. That's where the Phantom came from, but you know, yet again, there's some good quality on these. If you aren't into that crinkly characteristic thing on there, this is a sneaker that you might wish that you cop later on. And I'm gonna leave it at that because I, I spent 13 minutes on this sneaker yesterday. Next up was a sneaker. When I first saw it, I was like, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. And it's part of the swoosh pack. The swoosh pack had about four or five sneakers and I'm not mistaken. There was a, um, a green pair. Um, I love drab green cargo cag, whatever Jordan likes to call that. Well, yeah, Nike Jordan brand likes to call that that color. Um, there was a black and white, and um, there was like a kind of neon orange version out there. And of course, these. This was the one that wasn't limited at all. This was the GR one. The other ones I didn't see. I never saw them hit stores in my area. I saw them online. But the Guava Ice Jordan ones going at 160. I said, mm, um, yeah, interesting color wrong time of the year when they release but it, very interesting and i said I'm, I'm going to pass on those but i went in my closet one day and was looking around I was like you know something i could pull these off and they started dropping in price so these are currently going for 79 dollars in your area if you find them of course you know i slapped that discount on it and i had to get them because i didn't want to kick myself in the head like, like man i should have got those the retail stores are actually selling these lower than the outlets i keep seeing them for you know 109 and full price of the outlet on returns and all it is, is that people there's no resale value on these that's why a lot of people buy sneakers speaking of which resale value this is one of those sneakers right here that was done wrong by everybody wanting to sell something the quality on these uh hyper royal jordan ones is amazing okay 
if they're seventy nine dollars now, if you're gonna find these seventy nine dollars, just get them and add them to your collection. And it's it's seventy nine dollars well spent. Of course, I don't pay seventy nine dollars for them, but you look look at that man. It's it's some amazing leather on here. I'm gonna lay swap these and rock these. I almost wore them the other day, by the way. But uh, th this is a dope sneaker that just, they made too many of them and there was no hype behind them, so no one really bought them. But now people are buying because like, oh, they're on sale. Next up is a sneaker that I truly stumbled upon, everyone. The Blue Chill. And sometimes you come across people that, you know, they, they you know, they, they just need to get rid of a shoe for reasons only known to them. And um, for the right price, I got these. And I wasn't too sure about them when I got them, but I checked them out. They, they look pretty decent. They look pretty decent. He didn't ship them well, I know that much. They got beat up in the box a little bit, but for the price, I'm cool with it. I can reshape them and everything. But the Blue Chill, the Blue Chill. This is a sneaker I could have gotten, but I talked about in my last video, I have a very laissez-faire approach to copping sneakers a lot of times because I'm like, oh, I'm not getting up that early for them. But I actually, missed out on the sneaker from being lazy and not getting up and heading to the mall when i should have with the blue chills there's um i don't know it's been confirmed but rumored there's going to be a uh, a male release version of these but they were extended so if you got a foot between 10 and down size men's 10 and down you could have copped these <clears throat> but that concludes the video hopefully you found these cops interesting if not it's okay it's my money it's my feet i'm going to wear them but I just wanted to share with you guys that you don't have to hate March. All right, and let me know about the quality of the video and the audio, you guys. I told you, it's an evolution. The channel is moving forward, okay? I've invested some things in the channel, and that's gonna be my next video because we have a lot of up-and-coming sneaker YouTubers out there, and they'll hit me up from time to time about tech questions. Hey, the solution, I noticed your videos have um, looked better and better and are sounding better. What are you doing? Can you help me out? What should I buy? What should I do? And I'm gonna get into that in the next video. But remember, comment, like, subscribe, tap, slap, push, punch that notification button so you'll know when I'm dropping another one of these things and you too can be a part of the 4 Kids Brigade. Let's throw about 100 of these likes on there. And um, as always, let's talk about it in the comment section. Holla at me and I'm out of here. Well, not yet. Remember, it's not about how much you paid for the sneaker. Okay? So why'd you pay that much? I'm out of here. Boom.